Well, looking ahead to Veterans Day this Friday, there's an exciting event putting Portland's veteran community on an international stage. In the summer of 2023, the... After service and sacrifice, Adaptive sports offer hope and healing. Well, often individuals, when they have had a huge trauma in their life, they have um, depression and have feelings of how am I going to move on. And the wheelchair games uh, in rehabilitation, skiing, all the adaptive sports allows the individual to realize that they can still go out and do things. As an operative care nurse at the VA, Heidi Frawley has seen firsthand how life-changing these games can be following life-changing trauma. The games offer so many different sports for so many different styles of injury that they can still um, be very functional and have a great time. Next summer, she'll help organize thousands of volunteers for the 42nd National Veterans Wheelchair Games. This is the largest veteran-focused wheelchair game competition in the world. Just in terms of what the National Veteran Wheelchair Games will be hosting, we have both individual events and team events that are going to be part of the National Veteran Wheelchair Games. Um, some of the team events include wheelchair basketball, wheelchair rugby, uh, wheelchair soccer, but in addition to that, many of the individual events will include the various swimming events, archery, air pistol, air rifle, bocce, and it goes on and on. Local organizing chair Sean Benson says this is the first time Portland will host the games, July 4th through the 9th, 2023. Most competitions will happen at the Oregon Convention Center, but there are plans to hold events all around the metro. Potential venues include Portland International Raceway, Kingpins, Mount Hood Community College, the Oregon Zoo, and Pioneer Courthouse Square. Organizers expect hundreds of athletes. They will be coming from every state in the country, as well as Puerto Rico sends a team and Great Britain sends a team. And that means they need help, lots of it. They're looking for volunteers for everything from greeting teams at the airport to helping with crowds and competitions. We'll train anybody that wants to volunteer. So there are numerous opportunities. If you're interested, just sign up and we will find a spot for you. Organizers hope Oregonians will spend part of their Independence Day supporting those who fought for freedom. Even as a spectator and as a volunteer, it's, it's life-changing watching these men and women who have given so much to be able to compete. You walk away with far more than you give. So again, this is happening this coming July in and around the Portland Metro. In addition to volunteering, you can also donate to help cover athletes' expenses to travel and compete at future games. For more information about how to help, go to coin.com. We've got all the info there if you want to sign up to volunteer or just keep it on your radar as you start to make those 4th of July plans. A really cool way to help support our veterans. Yeah, no doubt about it. Really a great effort there. Thank you very much for uh, doing that story. Mm -hmm.